Well, I would go as far as saying round 15 tips for the NRL were basically a disaster. So let's hope things improve for round 16. I don't know if I really want to look at this, but we must. So the first game last week was Sharks versus Dolphins. 90% of people got it wrong. Yeah, so this is once again a week of the underdog for sure. I did Sharks to win by 12. They actually lost by two. So... I get nothing, nothing to start off with, and this is a trend. Okay, right until the end, this is a trend. Okay, Friday, Raiders versus Cowboys. Um, and once again, 81% of people got this wrong because Cowboys won by 18. Um, Raiders, yeah, not good, and that puts Raiders down to 11th. They are, they are plummeting, let's just say. Then, oh, guess what? Um, I, I don't understand how 30%... I don't understand how 30% tipped Rabbitohs. I know they found a little bit of form. I still didn't think they'd do it, but I did Broncos to win by six. Rabbitohs won by 10. So Rabbitohs now sitting in 15th. Three... Well, third from bottom. So that is disappointing. Just when you think Broncos are improving, they go and lose to Rabbitohs. So nothing on the board there. Next, I had Titans to beat West Coast by 12. So West Tigers and West Tigers came up trumps and they won by eight. So once again, the underdog won. This, this is the theme at the moment. Uh, just crazy, absolutely crazy. There is one positive and I will get to it in a minute. But next game was Warriors versus Storm. And interestingly, this was a 50-50 you guys uh incredible the fact that it is yeah th these two teams could not be split however i was wrong <laughs> i was on the wrong 50 percent because uh, i did warriors by four storm one by 14 i just thought there could have been an upset there was not Next, things did look up because Eels versus Roosters. I did Roosters to win by six. They actually won by 10. So I do get my first point and the half a point for a close score. So things did look up. Then Sunday, Sea Eagles versus Dragons. I did Sea Eagles to win by 10. They won by 16. So I was literally one point off a close score. Ah, annoying. Well, it's still points on the board. That is good. Um, Seagulls now are in a position to try and fight for sure um, to make the finals. Well done to them. Last game, we had Knights versus Panthers. I did Panthers to win by 10, and they won by 8. So, one and a half points for me there. And the good news is, as a, Pan as a Panthers fan, is we're now top of the table. Sharks have cocked it up. Uh, I'm sure Storm will overtake him and be top of the board soon. But that is how last week went. Okay, the leaderboard, I have no idea if I've gone up or down. I'm surely I've gone down by quite a bit. But literally in the top six, there is no change at all. That is incredible. There are quite a few on 83 points. Uh, but Coolbajul is about four and a half points ahead, doing very, very well. But St. Jai, Ozzy Tash, um, especially, are on your tail, Cool Bejewel. They are on your tail. Otis is up eight. Uh, Rhyme is down five. The wooden spoon goes to Pie Boy. And I'm only down one place. That's not the end of the world. I'm down to 22nd. That's not the end of the world. Let's see anyone else. Um, lots of Mad Swans fan down three. Stephen. Up three, down five is Felix. Felix has had a bad week in the AFL and on it, NRL, sorry. Um, but the golden hat goes to Brotherman18. Well done, buddy. Uh, and let's scroll down so everyone can see where they are. There you go. That is how we finish the league table for this week. Round 16 then. Uh, we start on Friday at the 21st and it is at Suncorp Stadium. Dolphins versus Storm. Storm who are in second and this is a game they could potentially go top against Dolphins who are only four points behind in fifth. And they've shown they can beat the teams above them. Um, obviously Dolphins come off a gutsy win against Sharks which is fantastic. But I think I don't think that tells the whole story with Origin have had had been going on at the same time with Sharks losing players for sure. Um, but I think in this game, form, yes, is fairly similar-ish. 
and I know Dolphins are playing at home, but I just think I'm quite impressed with Storm's fullbacks, and I think they will be too much for the Dolphins. So I think Storm should at least sneak a win here. So I think I'm going to go with a six-point win for Storm. Fairly tight, taking into account, obviously, Dolphins can't take it away. They're still winning against these teams, and they're at home. But I think Storm will have enough for sure. But it should be a close one. Next at the Seabus Super Stadium in the Gold Coast on Saturday 22nd is Titans versus Warriors. Now, fairly similar um, form from both three wins in the last seven. Um, obviously, Warriors came three back to back. Maybe that helped with State of Origin once again because that had a big, big impact for sure. Um, Warriors obviously let a 12-point lead go. And that, you, sh you should be able to hold on from there. Or at least, yeah, no, you should hold on from there because that's a decent lead. Um, yeah, I think, I think they should bounce back, though, against the Titans team who couldn't get the win against West Tigers and are now sitting bottom. So, I think... I think, yeah, I think Warriors are getting close to full strength, to be fair. Um, I just see Roger Tuvasa Shek is back as well, um, or should be back. So that will put them closer to full strength. So I'm going to say a Warriors win. Let's go by 10. Not too much, but a, but a decent amount nonetheless. Then uh, Sydney Roosters versus Canterbury Bulldogs. Who is going to win this? Both form, once again, very, very similar. Roosters, two losses, and Bulldogs with two losses in their last seven games. Um, ah, it's not easy. It's amazing because Roosters are massively tipped here compared to Bulldogs, but I don't think there is actually ridiculous amounts. Um, the only thing is Roosters playing at home, they have more depth than the Bulldogs for sure, who are missing key players. So that should be enough for the Roosters. And I think Roosters have to take advantage of this game. They really, really do. Um, they're playing at home, so you know they're playing at Gosford, so they, they should have their fans. Let's go with a Roosters win by 12. Yeah, two tries conversions. I think by 12, that's a fair, fair result. Next, Stadium Australia, and amazingly, who would have saw this coming earlier in the season? Rabbitohs have, have won their last three games. Sea Eagles obviously won last week, but it's been sporadic. I think we've got to follow the Rabbitohs' form, don't we? we I think we should. Beating Broncos was a very, very good win last week, and uh, Rabbitohs playing at home. Sea Eagles, Manly, obviously, they're playing without their captain. Um, so that could be tough to overcome as well. So, yes, Sea Eagles are the better team on paper, but I think the situation at the moment suits Rabbitohs better. So let's go with a Rabbitohs win by six. Yeah, by six. Let's try that. Then the last game of the week at Campbelltown Sports Stadium, Sunday 23rd, is West Tigers versus Raiders. This isn't an easy one to call either because obviously West Tigers, they did get a decent win against Titans last week, but how much of a... They're both bottom of the table teams, right? Raiders, obviously, their form is not amazing. Um, losing games they potentially shouldn't be losing. Um, I think they should rebound here, though, shouldn't they, against a West Tigers team? I'll be thoroughly, thoroughly disappointed if Raiders don't win this against West Tigers. So that's, I think that's all I can say. That's all I've got to say, really, because they shouldn't lose. So we'll go, but I don't think it'll be straightforward. So let's go with a Raiders win by six. So for another quiet week, my predictions, Storm by six, Warriors by 10, Roosters by 12, Rabbitohs by six, and the Raiders by six. It's just weird that it's another quiet week for the NRL and it's the same over in the AFL it's another quiet week it's it's weird but there we go hopefully we will do better this week thank you so much once again for joining me week by week you guys are coming along making your predictions watching my predictions it's fantastic to have you so if you haven't already like and subscribe and 
I will catch you next week.